So I just downloaded Inkscape here. Um, I'm on a Mac, so hopefully it looks uh, similar to you guys on a PC. But uh, I just wanted to help you guys out with uh, joining the uh, monogram files and adding names to it. Um, I know a lot of you people use Inkscape, so uh, I just downloaded this just so I can have a look at it quick. I use Illustrator. Um, man, this program is clunky compared to Illustrator, but um, yeah, so uh, just bear with me here. I've uh, just done uh, opened this program for the first time like literally five minutes ago and just quickly figured this out so I can make a quick video. So, um, all right, so well, let's uh, open up a file here. So we're going to go with D for Daryl. I don't know why the window resizes like that when I open, um, but anyways. So apparently in Inkscape, we need to ungroup this file. We don't have to do this in Illustrator, but in Inkscape we have to uh, before it'll work. So we'll go Edit, and we will select All. Then we're going to go to Object, Ungroup. So now that, what's that done? It's to ungroup the top and the bottom sections here. Then we're going to click our text tool, click. We're going to write Daryl. Let's change the, uh, the font here to times bold. And apparently in this program, you have to click apply. Crazy. So clunky. Um, so then we'll rescale it how we want it. Again, we want the, just like the, in Illustrator, it looks best to me anyways. If you uh, have the serifs, the serifs are these little curly cues that come off of each letter, right? Above and below the lines of the inner, of the uh, outer D, sorry. So, there we go. Just make it look nice in there. Now, this is still um, a font. It's text. We want need to convert this to outlines. Um, in Inkscape, it's called Object Path. So with the name selected, we're going to go to Path, Object to Path. Now what that's done is that's turned this name into Outlines. Now what we need to do is ungroup this, apparently. In Illustrator, you don't have to do this at all, but in uh, Inkscape, apparently you do. So Inkscape, or sorry, yeah, oh, sorry. Object, ungroup. So now it's ungrouped each letter. Then we're going to go select all because we're going to select all the big D and all this and everything inside of it. And now we get to union. So we're going to go to path, union. And now everything is together, one thing. But in order to bring it into Glowforge, right now this is set as a solid. So that would be an engrave, right guys? So we want to set our fill to nothing, but we want the stroke to be solid. And um, let's change the, uh, the, st the stroke weight here. Uh, how do you do that? I don't know. Down a little button down here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right now it's set to one pixel. Uh, let's make it 0 0.5 points. Again, that's not overly important. Um, you could have just left it that how it was, but for some reason I just like to have everything before I bring it to Glowforge at 0 0.5 points. But there you go, there's your file. Save as an SVG file and bring it into the Glowforge and away you go. So that's how you do it, guys.